Welcome back. I'm Mabel Jong, and you're watching continuing coverage of World Healthcare Congress 2017 coming to you from Washington, D.C. And a very warm welcome to the audience that we have watching us via live stream. We have in our a studio right now, Gary Jacobs, Executive VP of Strategic Partnerships at CareCentrics, and I'm very pleased to be able to speak with you again, Gary. Hi, Mabel. We checked in last year. We talked a lot about your involvement with home care. This year, I'd like to get a check-in about your work in the post-acute care area. Tell me what's going on there. Thanks, Mabel. There's probably nothing I enjoy talking about more than that. So, um, you're correct, and last year we focused on integrated home care and how you link the provision of nursing and physical therapy at home with the medical supplies and the drugs at home. And we've taken that a step further now um, and coordinated with nursing homes upon discharge from a hospital and actually manage a patient's episode of care for 90 days following that discharge by selecting the right site of care and trying to get them home sooner, faster, quicker. Okay, so very specific, 90 days of 90 day episodes care. following Th the federal bundle programs. And okay, and issues. what is what can be done in that period of time? So it's really fixing the problem. And the problem historically has been, I, I'll refer to a nursing home because I know the discharge planner at the nursing home and they'll keep the patient as long as they possibly can to get the maximum reimbursement and then what happens when they discharge the patient. There's no coordination and no strategy typically and now because of the Affordable Care Act and the provisions that focus on readmission penalties and other consequences like shared savings in accountable care organizations, people are not getting the benefit of post-acute effective care management. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we're doing is using analytics and clinical algorithms along with care transitions in an appropriate way to manage patients through that process, take the risk on behalf of the payer and guarantee them savings. What's the hard data to show that this really makes a difference? So we have an aggregated database of over 100 million medical records of patients who are discharged from hospitals around the country. And we've combined that with social determinants of care um, data and from zip code information to shopping information related to groceries and clothes and things to that effect to really get a holistic picture of any individual. And the algorithms are tied to machine learning and artificial intelligence that give us a baseline in any community as to what's appropriate level of care, what are the right facilities that a patient should be in upon discharge, and from a quality standpoint, who are the better ones to refer to. So you've made a lot of progress since we last spoke yes. um, last year. What's next on the horizon? What might we talk about next year? Well, I think as we nail this idea of managing an episode of care, which parallels to the idea of bundles and shared savings programs that are being sponsored by CMS through the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation, I think a lot of that progress is what we've focused on to move towards population health management and taking risk on populations. It seems that the government, regardless of Republican or Democrat right now, is moving towards this whole notion of managing care through a bundle or through an episode. And they need people to convene providers to do that most efficiently and cost effectively with the highest quality possible. Terrific. We are so pleased to have you back this year, Gary. What kept you coming back to this meeting, the World Healthcare Congress? So you get an eclectic group of individuals from the payer community, the provider community, the vendor community, the consumer community, all of the various constituent 
organizations that are part of the healthcare ecosystem. And I find that of all the meetings that we attend, it's non-specific, but yet attracts multiple disciplines who are all part of the solution that we're all seeking. Fantastic. So I think it's great. Great. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, so Mabel. So pleased to see you, you and well. see you next year. You look great. Thanks. And I'm okay. Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for many more interviews to come.